Hello everyone and welcome to this video section where we will finally start working on the files that I used for the demo and yes you're gonna you're gonna get all the files just make sure you're verified on discord so if <coughs> if you're verified you're gonna get a, a project that's gonna look exactly like this with all the files that I use for the demo you can see the structure of the files right here and uh, without further ado let's just dive into it but before I tell you which animations I used I'm gonna have to show you one little thing you need to take care of every weapon that I used used a specific uh, animation blueprint associated with it for, so for example twin blades uh, on the equip of twin blades I was changing the mesh like I showed you before so changing the mesh <coughs> Sorry, not changing the mesh, I'm changing the animation blueprint. So with the changes of the animation blueprint, <coughs> with the files you're gonna get, you're gonna get some errors because the blend spaces that I use is not gonna be provided because I'm not the creator of the uh, animation asset. So I gave you an animation blueprint that I use, but you're gonna have to modify the blend spaces and I'm gonna show you what I use on my original project, so keep that in mind. Now I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna open the project that I use for the demo and I'm gonna teach you everything that I use from here so let's start with twin blades like I showed you we're gonna go back to the weapon and it's gonna be the exact same copy as you have so you don't have to worry about that the animation blueprint that I used and I'm gonna go to the anim graph back here so let's start with this one the walk run idle a simple a blend space that goes from idle all the way to sprinting from 0 to 800 that's for this one for this one we're gonna use <coughs> the one he's in combat in the other one was common so this one is in combat same speeds same uh, same everything except that this one is in combat and this one is 2d 2d blend space which is gonna be something that we depend on direction so this has to be 2d I expect you to know how to set up the 2d animation blend space so from one minus 180 to 180 from 0 to 600 the difference between them between the three of them is this one will work on the common thing like if you don't have any weapon equipped the way you're walking and if you're not targeting uh, this one will fire and if you're targeting we're going to depend on 2d space directions so this one will be used in case you're targeting so for the uh, twin blade that's all you need to care about uh, if there's anything in the animation layer here there's nothing uh, so animation blueprint here is finalized there's nothing you have to do except changing the blend spaces other than this let's do the twin blade animation set also don't forget to set up the twin blade mesh and the shield mesh like we were showing in the uh, tutorials so for the <coughs> uh, in addition to what do you call it the weapon mesh make sure the sockets are here I'm gonna show you the sockets that I used this will depend on two meshes bound to each other on a single uh, static mesh so for that data asset we're gonna jump right into that you will have the same exact data asset so you don't have to worry about these inputs all of them will be done for you states as well will be done for you as well as the attributes so the only thing you need to worry about are these ability montages so I'm gonna show you every ability montage that I used throughout the twin blade uh, data asset so let me start with the light attack ability this one right here will have this on the beginning I'm just gonna pass through pretty quickly because this video is gonna be extremely long make sure these settings are set like this this one also is we have a rotate to targeted actor a trace with the normal attack property most of the trace for the twin blade is normal attack property the damage I'm dealing based on impact as well as poise damage this is just a sound and here this one at the very end and the inability of gameplay tag which is set to light attack this one right here I'm gonna skip uh, looking at the buffer input stuff because these things are extremely yeah, straightforward you can I'm just gonna click on them you can see on the right and see what you pick this is for attack 0 5 the one after attack 14 I'm gonna show you these we have two traces in this side both of them are normal 
no change then we're gonna go to attack 19 but you only have buffer in the middle and at the end same thing rotate to targeted actor you can use int current active ability or gain the ability of gameplay tag and for all four of them these were uh, from light attack ability now for index one we have the dodges this is extremely important so i need you to focus here as combat status will simply deem you invincible so if you do, do get hit while you're invincible nothing will happen we have the rotate to input direction with these values so make sure that is set up then at the end of the uh, dodge we have the rotate to targeted actor the buffer at the end does this keep this in mind extremely important now for the right we have these values and the rest is exactly the same we have invisibility here as well the one after will be left which is gonna be with these values and at the end we have the dodge back which has these values now for dodge that's it we're gonna go move on to the index 2 which is perfect dodge uh, that's how you do perfect dodge these are just camera stuff let me just stop it because of the sounds here we have invincibility and what you need to look out for nothing with the forward section uh, that's just it we have the right which is gonna be rotate to targeted actor also nothing fancy same thing as the other one and this one is the same as left there's a little bit of a slow down on the beginning you all have the uh, anim notify you can use it and the back which has this as well now index 3 will be the hold attack so if you hold left mouse button this attack will fire nothing weird in here just a regular rotate buffer input and an end the one after will be 4 heavy attack which is the one on the right mouse button this is it I'm gonna show you the buffer inputs pretty quick and then the second one which is attack 17 will have these aside from heavy attack we have the special attack which is gonna be the shift and left mouse button so SP attack 1 from the twin blade and him set it's gonna be this this and this one of course all the traces still are gonna be normal SP attack 2 gonna show you this again now the normal hit ability will have four types of uh, <coughs> of hits here just rotate an input buffer if you wanna cancel out of it or move out of it <coughs> all the other animation do the exact same thing you can see even the names are exactly identical to what they had so there is nothing here to show you other than the first but I want to take uh, your attention to one little point now uh, the hit abilities for the other weapons not necessarily use this one so this one will depend on the direction of whoever hit you and not the direction of the swing so if an attack property is not normal it will go directly to uh, number zero which is the one you're gonna find here so if you're gonna use this normal hit ability make sure the attacker is using this one or you can modify this one by making a child and simply modify the start ability to whatever attack property that you're using so this way you have more control over which animation is being played at that moment so if right here I'm depending with the directions based on the uh, normal attack property that you see here so please keep that in mind <clears throat> now if you have this one set up we're gonna move to the next which is the knock hit ability which has different conditions now knock hit ability is if you try to delete it it will tell you which states are using it and which data assets now for the player hit hit the state which I'm using here if you go to the bottom you're gonna see I'm using the twin blade hit state and not the regular hit state if you go to it you're gonna see I'm dealing with it like I'm dealing with uh, the regular uh, hit, uh, hit state 
but I have multiple hit abilities in here. Like I told you in the previous videos, you can have multiple types of abilities and they all have their own conditions. So if you want to know when something is firing and when is it not, simply check the conditions to it and that will tell you when something is firing and when it's not. So if you go back to knock, we're going to have these, all three together, the buffer input, and make sure this one is at the end. Hit fall down, same thing, no change. We're going to move to the next large hit ability, which is going to be this one, with these input buffers. Index 9 gonna be with this animation always make sure to look at this name and this one and extend the ragdoll part I encourage you to look at the code for this one it might look confusing uh, on the beginning because this one is not the same as the rest it has additional features to it and uh, this is where ragdoll is being used for so all these uh, variables that you see here are associated with ragdoll only. This one is for the huge uh, AOE that you have played with. We have this one at the end. And then we have this one, if it's the other direction. Index 11, repost attack. Which is going to be the one that you attack with if the great sword boss is on his knees. This is how we do it. We're hiding the twin blades, you're gonna have this uh, anim notify as well. And this at the end. We have the equip ability, I explained this on videos, you don't have to worry about this one. The unequip, the exact same opposite, the only difference is there's no equip slot. Can stick to false. Normal death, self explanatory, don't have to do anything. Make sure there's a loop at the end by the way. Grab death, this one is not being used, so you can totally ignore this one. Player convert is when you try to convert your weapon. This, uh, this point is extremely important, I want to show you something. On this notify that you all have, you're going to have to specify which weapon you want to equip. So in this type, I'm simply spawning a weapon and equipping it. But there's one thing to note, if you do spawn a weapon in this method, do not change the anim blueprint in the weapon. If you do that, in the middle of the animation, you will crash. So if you have a weapon that you're going to equip, like this one, make sure there is no anim blueprint changes happening for that new weapon. Otherwise, you're going to crash. So this is how you do conversion. And for attacks, you now for 17, it's gonna be the heal. Now the heal, I want you to show. I want to show you something. For heal, we have an amount of heals that are triggered to four. You guys on the demo, if you notice, you can only heal four times, and this is how I'm doing it. I'm not checking for any equipment in any inventory or anything. I'm just simply setting it from the ability directly. So this value changes every time the ability starts. It decreases if the value is above zero. It will play if it's zero or less. It won't play. So for heal, I'm just using the drinking potion, which is uh, an animation that we got from Action RPG. So you can take a look at there and just use that one. With that, there is this construct attribute modifier, which heals me for a duration of two seconds with this interval, and that's the amount I'm adding. Don't forget to specify the modifier class. And at the end, just end it. And that's it for Twinblade. In the next video, we're going to cover the other weapons. So see you in the next one.